My name is Noam Bennett, and let's talk about political cartoons from the Middle East. Today is a very dangerous topic. Political cartoons mocking Muhammad, Prophet of Islam. While in Christianity they have statues and drawing of Jesus, in Islam it's not allowed. And if someone will do it, it might go south. It happened in Denmark and all over the world, riots in 2005 and 6. It happened in 2015 after Shalili Abdo, a satirical weekly magazine, posted cartoons about Muhammad. And it happened this month. Samuel Petit, a French history teacher, that while a class of freedom of expression, showed his students cartoons of Muhammad from Shalili Abdo. But I don't want to talk about the cartoon itself. I want to talk about what happened later through the view of political cartoons. Hate speech, that's the title of the cartoon that comes from Jordan, from Nasser al-Jafri. This comes after speeches of Emmanuel Macron, the French president, that described Islam as a religion in crisis and said he will improve the oversight of the funding of mosques and of course said that France won't stop posting cartoons because of the freedom of expression, of course. The next cartoon reminds us of the story of the elephant. As I mentioned in the last video, in the Holy Quran, there's a story about Abraha from Habash, Ethiopia, that tried to conquer Mecca with an army of elephants and failed. And here we can see Emmanuel Macron of France and Angela Merkel from Germany trying to conquer the Kaaba, the Temple of Islam. In a cartoon from Morocco, we see that we're not talking only about cartoons against Macron or France. We're talking about boycotting France products from the Arab world. Here's a headline from Iran where we see Macron as the devil from Paris. And we see that peace can't breathe, just like George Floyd from Minneapolis, USA, because of Islamophobia. A cartoon from Qatar is trying to show that the French are hypocrites. In the right side, we see that it's freedom of speech to speak against Islam. But if you talk against Jews, it's anti-Semitic. And here's a cartoon from Yemen that I don't think I need to explain. The leader that most loudly criticized France, not only on this topic, is Recep Tayyip Erdogan of Turkey. He even questioned the mental condition of Emmanuel Macron. And in the series of these cartoons, we see how angry Turkey is on France. But don't worry. Here's an answer that I like to call, look who's talking about a problem with mental illness. As we know, political cartoons are fascinating. One cartoon can tell us a whole story, but it can have very dangerous consequences. What do you think about this video? What is the next subject you want me to talk about? Comment and share this video. Have a great day.